today for families to do and it's working with positional words and included in the email with the link to this video I included a list of positional words but some of those include um, next to above below beside and so those are some of the words we're going to be working with today and a lot of these um, can be used as ways to get your kids to help at home and to also have fun at the same time. The first thing we're going to do is work with setting the table. And the things I have today are a straw and a cup, a fork and a spoon. I have this fun Zootopia napkin and a plate. And if you start with the plate um, on the table, you can ask your child to do different things with the utensils that you have. Um, you could ask them to put the straw in the cup. You can say put the cup at the top of the plate. Put the napkin next to the plate. Put the fork on the napkin. Put the spoon next to the fork. So that's a lot of fun and it gets them to set the table and to help and it um, promotes really good language skills and it also um, is a lot of fun and they can also um, ask you to do the same thing so you can work together to set the table. The next thing is to get um, one of their toys. You can ask them to get a stuffed animal, a Lego, a car, anything they have, and you can ask them to put it in different parts of the house. You can say, put the penguin under Sorry, I knocked something over. You can put it under the bench. You can put it on top of the bench. You can put it on your head. Different fun things like that. And just like the other activity, they can ask you to do those things with the toys. Also, something that might be a fun trick is you can use it to help them clean up their toys. You can say, put the cars in the basket. Put the stuffed animals in the drawer wherever they keep that you or with their laundry you can put the socks in the top drawer you can put your pants in the bottom drawer so hopefully um, it'll be fun to get them to help with chores and again learn those positional words and developing that language um, the last activity using positional words that i have is to get a piece of paper and you can ask them to draw different shapes on their paper and um, you can tell them the location where you would like those shapes. So the first thing is we're going to get an orange crayon and draw a circle in the middle of the paper. And if they wanna take the time to color that circle, they can do that. And then you'll have them get another color. Let's get the green crayon and say, draw a green triangle next to the circle. And you can say, draw a purple square on the other side of the circle. And 
they can have a fun picture when they're finished with that. And I just um, quickly showed the activities to give you an idea of different things that you could do with positional words, but you can take as much time as you want. And again, working together, having your child give you the directions and you giving them the directions. And it really promotes language and it teaches the positional words and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you well and I miss you. Bye.